Hey guys, you're probably wondering what you can do with a huge tub of sake katsu. You can make katsu jiru with it, or you can make amazake, which is a hot fermented drink. It has um, sugar in it, and you can add a little ginger, and it's very nice and creamy. You can also get the flattened versions of sake katsu, and you can grill it with sugar. Um, you can also marinate fish in it. What else can you do? Not too sure, but you know what? I'm thinking outside the box. I want to try something new. So I'm going to make kayaku gohan, but I'm going to do something different. Instead of my dashi and soy sauce base, I'm going to add some sake kasu to it. And hopefully it turns out good. Kayaku gohan is one of my favorite dishes to make when I'm strapped for time. It only takes a couple of minutes of prep time. You throw in the ingredients in the rice cooker, and it's done just like that. Today I'm using canned mushroom. Make sure you get all the water out. Um, I have a shiitake. I have a cup of rice and I'm going to use canned tuna and canned salmon. Of course you can use the tuna which is in, packed in oil. I have carrots, I have uh, miso, sake kasu, dashi, and soy sauce for my base. And I have um, some hijiki and avocado just for um, at the end. And you can also add some grains if you like. Um, usually have oage and um, konyaku or shirataki, but I haven't gone shopping in a while, so I'm just going to use the carrots. But um, feel free to add what whatever I do you is like. Just drain the liquid from the canned tuna. Make sure you get most of it out because you want to properly measure the um, water in the rice. For the base, I'm just going to add some dashi to it. And for this, you're just going to have to taste it. Um, I make this often, so I don't really measure anything. I don't measure how much water it is, because you just add up to the line of however much rice you're adding. So I have one cup of rice, so I'm going to add up to the one line. I also have dashi in there. I'm going to add some soy sauce. Kasu. I'm actually going to add another tablespoon of kasu and I'm just going to add some miso as well and that's about a tablespoon and make sure everything's mixed well and now just add the soup mix And so right now it's at the one line, but from experience I know this is going to be, the rice is going to be soggy because I have all the other vegetables to add in. So I'm just going to add in some grains. Just about two handfuls and that should be good. And don't forget to add in your hot sesame oil. And now the hijiki. And because I'm lazy, I'm not going to reconstitute the shiitake. I'm just going to put it in here and it's going to reconstitute while it cooks. So just julienne your carrots. And you can also add um, julienne bamboo or daikon, which I usually add, I just don't have it at the moment. And so now all you have to do is add the carrots. And I like to add the carrots first. Then the mushrooms. And then the canned fish. And then just pop it in the rice cooker and it should be ready in 20 minutes. So all you have to do is set it to your regular setting. And if you like okoge, which is the burnt rice, you can set it to scorch. I'm not sure what your guys' settings have on your rice cooker, but I'm just going to do the regular one. So what I have here is arctic char, and my mom brought it 
back when she went to um, the Northwest Territories. And so I'm just going to add some garlic, ginger, soy sauce, and hot sesame oil. And I'm just going to bake in the oven for maybe 30 minutes at 350. You can also do this in a skillet if you cut into fillets or whatever, but just to make my life easier, I'm just going to pop it into the so oven. So I've already diced up some ginger into matchsticks, and I'm just going to chop the garlic. And so just add some soy sauce. And some hot sesame oil. And just put in the oven. So it's been in there for about 30 minutes and this is what it looks like. And so just mix it carefully. And there's the completed dish. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And the rice, it actually turned out fantastic. It has a really nice mild sake kasu flavor. What? Ah,